So tonight we are going to be exploring the nuts and bolts of having a thriving love life. And what better time? Valentine's Day is right around the corner. And I just love Valentine's Day because it's all about love. Sometimes we feel like, oh, left out if we're single, or oh my gosh, if we're in a relationship, we have to go and have a big fancy dinner or something. I say, focus on the love and the love that you are. I loved everything you were saying, like the, 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 the love that you are, God. I'm like, ooh, man, it's like the love that we are. That's, that's true. Erica was just, oh. oh my God, like we met at a party and I, uh, uh, you know, went into this room and I was, you know, really attracted to her and I, you know, I started talking to her and, um, I said, hey, you know, do you want to go hang out outside in the garden? And she said, no. And, and I knew she was interested with like the vehemence of her no. So I said, all right, well, I'll catch up with you later. And then there was one of those parties with a chill out room and we caught up later. And, you know, uh, she ended up coming over. And we decided that night that uh, we were going to get married. <laughs> that's about how smart I was in relationship like that you know that night we were going to get married the next morning I woke up and I was just really drenched in sweat because I had to say hey you know I, I don't think we should get married <laughs> and she said I know <laughs> in fact we have a visitor <laughs> this is Marley <laughs> this is Marley he's we sure are reggae fans, aren't we? <laughs> <laughs> right, actually, yeah. That's how he got his name. Yeah. I told you I'd say a little bit about my past. You know, my mother left when I was seven, and I barely saw her after that. And you betcha it kept popping up for me that relationships wouldn't last. It, and I didn't even know it was popping up for me. It was unconsciously driving me. And what I did, all those fantastic women I showed you pictures of earlier, I kept leaving those relationships before they would leave. So a key, I love that we call tonight the nuts and bolts, like mm -hmm. a real nut and bolt practical thing you just want to have your attention on in romantic relationship is her desires her desires, her, whoever the woman or the feminine person is in the equation. In my case, her. Yes, me. In my case, what do I want? And this is not to the exclusion of the other party. This actually, well, we as women, the feminine, were the source of the whole romantic and sexual realm in relationship. We just are. We carry the heat. There's so much to say about that. But right now, the way we're saying it is, a key skill you want to have is to focus on your own desire, if you're a woman, or fo focus on her desire. And we as women, we want lots. I remember when I first started dating Erwan and I was over at his apartment, and I was looking around and I saw like the coolest poster in the world that I had never seen before by Alex Gray. And I looked and I'm like, oh, I love that. I want that poster. I'm gonna have to find that poster. Erwan paid attention, and li literally the next week when I went over to see him again, he had it in a frame for me to take home. And I'm like, what the heck? This is crazy. Third realm of things that we want as women could be categorized as sex. It's not just sex, it's sex, but romance, mm -hmm. intimacy, attention, that whole romantic realm of things. And I remember when I first met Erwan, I was like, okay, I mean, I still remember the first time I went to his apartment and I was nervous and I had connected with him a couple different times in these social situations. Long story short, those of you in mastery have heard a lot of the story, but I made it to his apartment. I was turned on. I was nervous. I wanted to like make out and have fun, but I was scared. And we were there on the couch and like things were starting to sort of heat up and I was like excited and giving him the eyes and then I would lean away and feel really scared and like I don't know and he was just sitting there being there with me and I you know it's like that point where we're both about to start kissing and I froze 
<laughs> and everyone goes, Alicia. I feel like we're about to start kissing I know. Now. I'm like <laughs> feeling like kissing you the right now. One of the things I love baby. about her, it's like, <laughs> you know, she's not holding back that energy. Uh, yeah. And at that moment where I froze, he goes, Alicia, trust yourself. And I was like, ah, oh, that's just what I needed to hear and went in for the kiss. Now, there are some pitfalls to watch out for and avoid. So we're going to talk about those right now for a moment. Okay. So for, for, for men, there's some pitfalls. The biggest one is forgetting to pay attention to her, <laughs> just forgetting or not knowing to pay attention, right? Now, the next piece that's a pitfall often for the masculine, for men, is being tentative with women. We are crazy and we are powerful and we've got emotions and sexual energy and everything and we want somebody that can really handle that, you know, meet us with confidence. Now, for women, there's two pitfalls that we can fall into that just kill it, right? Kill the chemistry. The major one is being critical. Being super critical of a man, I like to equate that with pouring coffee into a computer. It malfunctions. It's like he doesn't know up from down. It's like he accidentally does something that we don't want and we say, oh my God, how could you da da da? Then he just doesn't function. So I'm not saying don't communicate, but I'm saying you want to bring the love as well as the directness. So mastery in relationship requires dealing with the practicalities. You know, do you have enough time? Are you, is your schedule set up to meet somebody if you're single? Right? Are you doing online dating or going to live events or you know, speed dating or whatever it might be? Right, so if you're in a relationship, have you carved that time out? Are you dealing with those practicalities? 